You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Well, good morning. So I came here to get staged this morning. I didn't come overnight. 15 minutes down the road, 15 minutes down the road, there was a Loves that I stayed at last night. So I got my shower in and did my thing. I believe this is the yard possibly right here where we're loading up these crane parts. But wouldn't you know it, somebody did decide to stage here last night. I imagine they slept here. They beat me here. So technically, they're first. Yeah, so technically, you know. But if they're asleep and uh, these guys show up, I'm going to jump in there. Hey, so I decided I didn't want to take the load to Oklahoma because it was heavy. I thought it was like 30 or 40,000 pounds. It's like 47 something thousand pounds full weight going to a dead zone. So for 330 a mile, I was like, I found something else better come out of Houston. Well, that's not really the reason why I didn't take it. The real reason is because they haven't got this crane disassembled yet. They just started working on it. And so I thought that I was gonna get here, it was gonna be ready to rock and roll and we could get on down the road. But now I'm sitting here waiting for them to get the crane unloaded. So th that being said, you know, I don't have enough time to make it to my pickup. What's up, man? What's going on, sir? Chilling. How are you? I'm all right. Actually, I'm not all right. I just booked a load at King of Freight and they sent me a rate con, but it was fucking $400 less than it's supposed to be. So now I'm trying to get them on the phone. <laughs> they tried to get me. Huh? Said, this guy just fucked up. I'd walk over there and use this Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to have to back up. You went over there to the port again? You made it over there? Oh, how's the, how's the fucking can? Is it clean? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Didn't make much sense though. That guy told me. Well, there's somebody in here, and I'm waiting. I said, okay. That's so why I wanted to ask before, so y'all got hard hats on. He goes, yeah, they'll probably say something. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> but, you ain't got a hard hat? He kept wheeling in there. He used to wear some hands. No shit? I didn't give a damn. Woo! So we made it. We're getting loaded. I spent the last couple hours waiting on them to bust down this crane. So I was talking to my new friend down there. Cool guy. Beautiful truck. Here we are, getting crane parts. We had to wait all morning for them to bust down this crane, these uh, counterweights and the, the boom. But I'll show you guys how I secure it. We got a haul ass back to Houston, get unloaded today, hopefully. And then canceled that load to Oklahoma. I'm taking a different load, a span about the same to West Texas. And out of Midland, I got one picking up Friday, excavator going to Denver. Okay, real fast, crane boom and counterweights. Straps over the crane boom. And I've got chains over the, the counterweights. Each one of these counterweights is 9,920 pounds or something. Basically 10,000 pounds. This is one chain, two binders, okay? Come up here. I gotta be real fast about this. I can't go into detail with you guys because I got my buddy back here. I might give him a hand if he needs it. He was checking me out. All right, this is one chain, one, two binders. I'm using the chain pockets using the chain pockets. This is uh, one chain and three binders. Chain pockets. Snap binder, chain pocket. You step over this. One chain, three binders. There's the third binder right there. Boom. This one chain is pulling backwards and forwards. It's the benefit of having chain pockets too. They work. This back here, it's got one chain preventing it from going forward and then there is this block of four by four or whatever the hell that is right there that's got two straps going over it holding it down to prevent it from going backwards this is one chain one binder and the two straps securing the boom and hold push it down on the counterweight now we got to haul ass to houston so we can get unloaded today let me see if i can help my buddy out real fast new friend baby let me put the rest of my winch bar up. Put my winch bar up. Let's see if he needs a hand. And... Woo! All right, man. Bam! Loaded up with these counterweights and a crane boom. I uh, had to 
to wait for them to break down the crane because it wasn't ready to go. So even though I was there at 6 a.m. prepared to be loaded at 8 a.m., that didn't happen because they had to break down the crane. So I sat there for a couple hours shooting shit and chit chatting with another trucker and a good guy. And uh, I helped him secure his load after I did mine. Now we hauling ass. He's probably half a mile, quarter mile behind me. He should be catching up pretty quick. We're both going to the same place. Uh, ETA is 3.30 this afternoon. I called the place yesterday. They stopped at 4.30 in the afternoon. So we trying to get down there. Yeehaw, motherfucker. He got stuck in that Houston traffic. It's my buddy's truck right here. Appreciate it. You want to get in the big truck? Huh? You want to All right. Tall geese. He's getting ready to get unloaded. Right? Good pan load right here. Okay. My buddy, he's got a badass truck too. He's a badass dude. While I was in there getting my paperwork, he took care of me and pulled my truck in. Thank you, sir. I'm going to tell you too, man. Me and no dude back there in the Peterbilt, we was hauling ass to get here too. I ain't been hauling ass like that within 355s in a while. It was fun though. It's always fun. Going with a buddy, man. Fighting that that traffic, beating that traffic up. Especially when we got into Houston, but it was left lane gang all day, all day, hard. You know, I turn my little LED light on the front. That way, if you want to get in front of me, you're gonna want to move because that shit'll blind you. Ain't nothing much to see here. Just work. Just work. Maybe this will go on like a little short. TikTok I, I do or whatever. By the way, man, if you want to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, Instagram is Toggy67. TikTok is Texas Trucker 2019.